What's up, YouTube? Mr. La Messi here, and today we're going to be talking about the Project Diablo 2 Paladin. So we've talked about some other characters, uh, but we want to go ahead and dive into the Paladin, what builds are going to be good, what builds don't feel like they're going as great, um, and, and just kind of how you should maybe play it a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump on over to our scene right here where we have a Paladin all fired up and ready to go. So first things first, taking a look, you can see this combat skills tree looks uh, pretty different right here. They have changed up a lot of stuff. Holy Bolt is now a level 1 skill. There's now a Holy Light. Um, there's a Holy Nova. There is Joust, which has a Teleport. Um, Vengeance and Zeal, so Zeal's moved up right there. So they've kind of adjusted a lot of stuff in the Paladin combat tree. And the auras, um, I don't think anything has changed over here. Besides maybe some like damage values on things. And defensive auras looks to be uh, just about the exact same. They removed the requirement to get Vigor cleansing to Vigor. Um, but other than that, pretty similar. I guess you have options of resist fire, resist cold, resist lightning, and salvation. Um, without needing uh, the prereq there. I guess Salvation, not, but these, maybe. Um, if they even had those arrows before. Regardless, oh, that arrow is now right here instead of right there. So they've changed up a few things, but the main thing to really talk about is this over here. So what builds have we seen? This is day seven, day six of the ladder. Um, so what, what builds have we seen kind of emerge? What have we seen the stuff change. The first thing is because of Path uh, Project Diablo 2's new style of play, where support characters are a lot better, one of the most important characters that we've seen is the Holy Nova, Holy Bolt, Paladin. Right? So what we're really seeing is people running Holy Bolt and Holy Paladin. First off, you're gonna see things uh, like this, where you have multiple bolts, right? So you're not just shooting off that single bolt, you can actually shoot multiple bolts. Um, and the second thing that you're gonna see is this nice Holy Nova, which is an AOE heal with a cooldown on it for your entire party. So, it actually not only does well in terms of healing, but you can actually kill stuff too with it, right? It actually has some damage on it. This right here, I believe, is the best or second best build in the game right now. This is, I think, the second best build in the game, or first best build in the game, with the only other one that I would say is on the same level of it, is the Combustion Fire Sorceress right now. Um, so yeah, Holy Bolt hits very hard. Obviously, it's shooting off magic damage as well, and there's not a ton of magic immunes in this game. I mean, there are some, but overall, not like tons and tons of them. Um... And you get the heal as well for your party. It's actually a very good heal. I know right now it says heals uh, 20 to 42, but you actually can get up um, with really good uh, healing there. And then heals 280. And once again, plus skills does work on these. And as you increase your prayer, as you increase your holy light skill as well. So let's increase our holy light which this is a single target heal, not quite as good. A lot of people don't end up uh, using that one. But let's go ahead and pump over here. It will heal the mercenary as well, yes. So now it's healing 670 right there. And this is healing 60 to 126. And once again, plus skills will just continue to boost it. So it's, it's doing very, very, very well. Um, and it really has solid damage. And so I've just seen these these paladins running around just soloing all sorts of stuff. There are some some magic immunes, more magic immunes that have been added into the game. So obviously you still have to skip some of that stuff. But uh, it's so good. Um, does the, the heal pierce? I believe it 
does. I think the holy bolts do pierce. We can actually just go check right now on our mercenary. You run CS in 330 with this build. Yeah, and remember, like, stuff is nerfed. Yeah, so it pierces as well. So it's so good. It pierces. It has a shotgun, I think, as well. Yeah, because you can see your heal twice on it. Oh, it doesn't shotgun anymore. Okay, they removed the shotgun. But it still pierces. Um, very, very, very good build. That's the number one build for sure. Uh, haven't really seen Hammerdens much of uh, at all this ladder. I'm not sure if hammers are just not as strong anymore or if people are just tired of it because they've run hammers so long, um, you know, and for, for, for everything else. So, yeah, the, the heal build is definitely the best. Vengeance also seems to be kind of decent because you get this firelight cold. And then what you end up doing with the firelight cold is you run um, salvation. And you can see that there's actually an elemental damage increase on salvation. So not only are you getting 85 resist all, you're getting 39% elemental damage. So I know we've seen some people running vengeance here for that. And then salvation is also a synergy for it. So you end up getting this really nice combination uh, being this salvation vengeance paladin. Um, and it seems like this is uh, a pretty decent build that I've seen uh, a decent number of people um, running. So Vengeance is also something, like I said, you have Joust. So you do have this uh, teleport. They've added some teleports to different characters. Um, haven't seen a lot of Smite at all. Uh, haven't seen a lot of Zealots. I've seen some Zealots. So it seems like Zealots are still okay. Um, haven't seen really anything from like conversion or, or stuff like that. Show teleport. I mean, it's a teleport, you know, you get it. You get the monster you teleport, right? <laughs> it's the zero armor teleport. Um, so pretty, pretty standard, pretty basic teleport there. Teleport to a monster. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've really seen. These are these are just such great party members um, because you are bringing in... You know, there are some changes, like uh, to Redemption, I think there's some small changes. It's actually now a level 30 skill. I think it was right over here, right? Was it? Or was Meditation always there and it was 30? <laughs> now I can't even remember. Um, eh, maybe it was there. Anyways... Um, there's a couple of minor changes that, that they've made to some of these auras. Uh, it's the exact same. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking meditation. Um, fanaticism is nerfed actually. So we, like I said, I, I feel like we've seen a lot less, um, fanaticism users overall, uh, just cause it, it has been dropped in the values. Um, and so it feels like you can play fanaticism, but you don't exactly have to. We, we've seen some people playing around with some like holy fire stuff. Obviously, conviction is still great for party. The heal is great, but the salvation vengeance seems to be a really strong, uh, decent build. So play around with those. Let me know how your paladin goes. Um, what aura is used with the holy build usually? Generally, the holy build people are running like salvation or conviction. I feel like like nothing that they're running is really boosting the damage. They just kind of run whatever they want uh, for kind of safety purposes. And then uh, conviction for like the party or something, you know. How can you try every skill class level one and single player? So they have on like the forums and I can even put, I'll put a link below um, to a file that has all of these characters right here. So you guys can go and play around um, and do all this stuff. And if you want to test, like, what does it look like with plus to skills? You can do that, right? You want to see level 12 conviction value? Okay. Okay. 
does Zealer still run fanaticism? I think you can, but I feel like people have run some other things with it as well. So this is what infinity is going to be. Minus 34%. Oh yeah, and they also changed all of the skills like zeal and stuff to only hit three times instead of five. So that you you get stuck in, in uh, like zeal lock less. Anyways. Um, yeah, play around with the paladin. Let me know how it goes for you. What sort of builds you're finding are working really well, what's struggling, whatever not. If you play that Holy Bolt, Holy Nova build, have fun, because it is very fun and very strong right now. And uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, YouTube.